Hello, curious minds, have you ever wondered what happens when a star dies in the most violent way possible? Let's dive into the explosive world of hypernovae. Okay, so we know that a nova happens when a star reignites in a spectacular burst of energy, and a supernova is when a massive star explodes in a brilliant cosmic blast. But then, what exactly is a hypernova? A hypernova is essentially a super supernova. It's an even more massive explosion that occurs when the most massive stars, typically more than 30 times the mass of the sun, reach the end of their lives. To understand a hypernova, let's first break down how stars evolve and explode. Stars go through several stages of life. When a star runs out of fuel in its core, it can no longer maintain the balance between gravity pulling inward and the pressure from nuclear fusion pushing outward. As a result, the star collapses, triggering a massive explosion a supernova. These supernovae can create neutron stars or even black holes depending on the star's mass. However, for a hypernova to occur, the star's mass has to be even greater. When these massive stars run out of fuel, their cores collapse into black holes almost instantaneously causing a much larger and more energetic explosion than a standard supernova. So, what makes a hypernova different? A key characteristic of a hypernova is its energy output. While a typical supernova can release energy equivalent to the entire sun's lifetime in a matter of seconds, a hypernova releases vastly more, up to 100 times more energy than a supernova. Some estimates suggest that hypernovae can release anywhere from 10 to 100 times the energy of a regular supernova, with energy levels reaching around 10 circumflex 46 joules, far greater than the energy output of a typical supernova. This is because the star is much larger, and its collapse leads to a more extreme burst of energy. In addition, hypernovae are often associated with gamma-ray bursts (GRBs). These bursts of high-energy gamma radiation are some of the most powerful explosions we can observe in the universe, often lasting only a few seconds, but releasing energy that could outshine an entire galaxy. These bursts are thought to be the result of the black hole formation at the center of a collapsing star, releasing jets of material moving at nearly the speed of light. So we got our hypernova, and a black hole forms almost instantly. This collapse creates an enormous release of energy and material including jets of particles that shoot out from the poles of the black hole at incredible speeds. Now that we understand the science behind hypernovae, let's take a look at some real-life examples of these incredible cosmic explosions and how astronomers have observed them. One of the most famous examples of a hypernova is SN1998BW which was observed in 1998. This event occurred in a distant galaxy and was linked to a gamma-ray burst, specifically GRB 980425. The explosion from SN 1998BW was so powerful that it was classified as a hypernova. Astronomers were shocked because its energy output far exceeded that of typical supernovae, and it seemed to be connected directly to the gamma-ray burst. SN 1998BW was particularly notable because it was a highly energetic explosion that produced a jet of material moving at nearly the speed of light. This discovery helped establish the connection between hypernovae and long-duration gamma-ray bursts, two phenomena that were previously thought to be unrelated. Since then, hypernovae and gamma-ray bursts have been considered two sides of the same coin. While not all gamma-ray bursts are caused by hypernovae, many are believed to be the result of massive stars collapsing into black holes in hypernova-like explosions. These bursts are incredibly energetic, often outshining entire galaxies for a brief moment. GRBs are considered some of the most powerful events in the universe, Hypernovae and gamma-ray bursts have also been observed in distant galaxies. Some of these events took place when the universe was only a few billion years old and they provide crucial insight into the early stages of the cosmos. By studying these explosions astronomers can learn about the formation of black holes, the production of heavy elements and the evolution of galaxies. For example, GRB 090423, one of the most distant gamma-ray bursts ever observed, took place roughly 13 billion light-years away. This event was so far away that the light from it began its journey when the universe was only about 630 million years old, providing a glimpse into the universe's early years. Now let's talk about a very unlikely but terrifying scenario. What would happen if Earth were close enough to witness one? Hypernovae release an incredible amount of energy, including gamma-ray bursts. The most immediate threat from a hypernova would be the gamma radiation it releases. These bursts of high-energy photons can travel across vast distances and are incredibly intense. If a hypernova occurred within about 2,000 light-years from Earth, and if the gamma-ray burst was directed towards us, it could significantly impact life on our planet. Gamma-ray bursts have enough energy to ionize the Earth's atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer. The ozone layer acts as our shield against harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun, 
Without it, the Earth's surface would be exposed to higher levels of UV radiation, which could disrupt ecosystems, harm living organisms, and even lead to a rise in skin cancer and other health issues. The real danger of a nearby gamma ray burst could be its potential to cause global ecological collapse. The radiation could damage nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere, releasing large amounts of nitrogen oxides, which would lead to acid rain. This would drastically affect marine and plant life, disrupt the nitrogen cycle, and alter ocean chemistry. The combination of UV radiation and acid rain could cause global climate shifts, possibly leading to a mass extinction event. In addition to gamma radiation, a hypernova could emit X-rays and cosmic rays, which could cause a significant disruption to Earth's magnetosphere. This would affect satellite communications, power grids, and even electronics, creating a global technological crisis. The high-energy particles would also pose a serious threat to astronauts in space. However, the exact impact would depend on the burst's proximity, the strength of the radiation, and whether Earth is in the direct line of fire. Scientists generally agree that if a GRB were to occur within about 1,000 light-years from Earth and not be directed at us, it could still have noticeable effects on our atmosphere, particularly the ozone layer. While the ozone layer wouldn't be completely destroyed, it could be significantly weakened, leading to higher levels of UV radiation. This could have impacts on human health, ecosystems, and marine life. The nitrogen cycle could also be disrupted, potentially causing acid rain and affecting plant life and ocean chemistry. While the extent of ecological collapse would be less severe than if the burst were aimed directly at Earth, it could still contribute to long-term climate shifts and stress on species. Additionally, a GRB within 1,000 light-years could produce electromagnetic pulses strong enough to interfere with technologies. The effects of a GRB would diminish significantly as the distance increases, but even a near miss could have considerable consequences. While the threat is real, we want to note again that the chance of a hypernova occurring close enough to Earth to cause these kinds of effects is extremely low. Most hypernovae occur in distant galaxies, and even if a nearby star goes supernova or hypernova the odds of it being aimed directly at Earth are slim. The closest star known to have exploded in a supernova was about 650 light-years away, called SN 1054, which formed the Crab Nebula. That explosion didn't cause any observable damage to life on Earth. In fact we haven't witnessed a gamma-ray burst pointed directly at Earth since we've been able to observe them, and our planet has been around for billions of years, so the risk is quite small. However, a nearby gamma-ray burst would still be an incredible event to witness, if we were lucky enough to survive the radiation. The burst itself would outshine entire galaxies for a brief moment, and it would be visible across the sky similar to how we see supernovae today. For a few seconds the brightness could even rival the combined light of billions of stars. Imagine watching a cosmic fireworks show that lasted only moments but contained enough energy to alter the very atmosphere of our world. While the idea of witnessing a hypernova sounds terrifying, it's not all doom and gloom. For one, a gamma-ray burst could also provide valuable data about black hole formation and the early universe. Scientists are currently studying the remnants of hypernovae and gamma-ray bursts that occurred billions of years ago, and understanding their impacts could give us insight into the future of stellar evolution and cosmic events. So, while it's unlikely Earth will face a catastrophic event from a nearby hypernova anytime soon, these explosions serve as a reminder of just how vast and unpredictable the universe really is. So, hypernovae are some of the most powerful events in the universe. But what do you think? Are hypernovae the most powerful stellar explosions, or could there be even more extreme events out there? Share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the universe's most explosive mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a journey into the cosmos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.